Hello, hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see linked list cycle 2 and I bet you can't see the explanation how I am explaining in the entire YouTube. I have seen there are many, many, many videos made. But yeah, like the way you will see in this video, it's entirely different and very intuitional. And other thing, like if you have liked the videos in the past and if you watch the videos, then it's very, very, very helpful for me if you can please subscribe and like. It just motivates me a lot and rest it's up to you. So yeah, let's quickly jump to the question. It just says that we are given a linked list and we're given the head of the linked list uh, and we need to return the node. Okay, we need to return the node and not the index or the number where the cycle begins. So if there is no cycle, we have to return null. Cool, very fine. Uh, it just said, okay, what's a node? What's a cycle and how we find it? We don't need to go into it because it's a simple linked list. Let's see the question example uh, very quickly. Uh, let's say it is three, which is points to two and it's points to zero, minus four. Then you can easily see at three, it moves to two, then zero, then minus four, and then again to two. So here, as you can easily see that we have a cycle and we need to return where the cycle begins. So the cycle itself begins at two. Why? Because it's like two, zero, minus four, two, zero, minus four, and like this, it will just go on moving. So cycle begins at minus two and just we need to return a minus two. Now, if we go by the basic brute force solution, it is just that, okay, we have a node, it's a three. Okay, we will just see, okay, if it's a node which has come, because see, cycle means that the node will repeat, which means that three is there, my two, zero, minus four, again two, which means that the node itself, I'm not saying the value, I'm saying the node, it means that it can also be possible that two value is here, but the node as a two, which means the address. When we store a node, we also store the address. So basically two as a node itself occurs at here only. So I could just do one thing that, okay, I'll just iterate on, like I just go on, for example, I go on to three. I just push it in my hash set, basically in Java or basically another, another map in C++. And how I will do is I just push in this node three. Okay, I'll just push it in. Cool. No worries. Uh, very fine. And then I'll just go on to two. I'll just push it here. As you can see, node two. I'll just go to zero. I'll push it here. Node zero. I'll go here. I'll push it here. Node minus four. Then I just, because as I'm iterating next, 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 next. So I'll just land on again at two, but I'll just see, okay, it's actually itself in the unordered map. So it means that it has occurred in the past and it has occurred in the past, which means that it is being repeated now. And I'm again saying it's node and not a value because value can be repeated any times. But the node itself, it can be repeated only when we land on that node again. Okay, cool. Then we can easily see, okay, that that two node is occurring again, which means that this brown pointer you can see, node two is occurring again and it's already in the map. So it's easily that, okay, it's being repeated and it's the starting of that cycle itself. So I can just return this particular node. Okay, it's the cycle. But... It's complexity as we are iterating on this whole thing, whole linked list, so it's O of N. And also we are using an unordered map, so it's space is also O of N. But let's, before moving to the actual thing, which it says that, okay, can we do it in O of 1? So let's quickly see, okay, what does the other example say? It's just 1 and 2. We just push the same thing in an unordered map and 1 goes to an unordered map. And then 2 goes to an unordered map and then 1 again has to go, but it is already present. So it will say, okay, one is the start of the cycle. Here in this example, you can easily see that there is no cycle at all. So we have to return a null and nothing else. Now, the interesting thing is that we have to do it in O of one space rather than O of n space. So what's the aim ultimately? Our aim ultimately is we need to determine the starting point of the loop. So it's the ultimate aim, right? We have to find the starting point, starting point of the loop. Now, it's intuitional in the statement itself. Starting point, okay, of what? Of the loop. So firstly, let's see, okay, if there is a loop itself or not. Because in this example, you can easily see if there was no loop. So firstly, before finding the starting point of what? Of loop, let's see if there's already a loop or not. So first thing, our question, itself says one more question okay Aryan, give me the loop if there is a loop or not so for that as we know that we need to determine there is a loop in a linked list so we use something called as a slow pointer and a fast pointer let's see like other videos will say okay uh, we have made a video but it's very small and very intuitional i will explain that how it is done it's done that okay slow pointer moves one step here we are finding okay if there is a loop or not 
fast pointer moves two steps which means that whenever these two pointers slow and fast see slow is moving one step fast is moving very fast which means two steps at a time so if they are meeting it indicates that there is a loop or a cycle why it's because fast is always ahead because fast is moving fast slow is moving slow how can if it's a straight line so fast will always move on going forward so it would not able to meet slow but if by any chance slow is able to meet fast which means that fast has come from the back and it has meet the slow fast it was moving ahead but it has moved from the back and now it is moving slow let's see how so basically if my slow moves one step and my fast move two steps so if both are standing here so slow will be here and fast will be here cool no worries in the next step what will happen is that our slow will move one step ahead it will move here fast will move here so it will land here and here right in the next step slow will move here fast will move here so it will be here and here right in the next step slow will move here fast will move here fast will move here right so it is slow is here fast is here in the next step slow will move here fast will also move here then you can easily see that my fast cached up with slow and they meet at a point which is called a meeting point so we can easily see okay if my slow and the fast meet at any point it directly means that we have a loop because if there would not have been a loop the fast would never been able to be behind my slow and after that it just moves and come back from behind to meet the slow which means slow was able to meet fast only when fast was from behind and then they overlapped and they overlapped and at the same note they, they got fast and slow but now you will say okay Aryan what's the uh, guarantee that they both fast okay fast was from behind i'll agree on the third part like it's a loop so fast will be from behind but what's the guarantee that both fast and slow will meet i'll show you why see now we got one thing okay if the fast and slow meets it's a point of merger it's a, it's a meeting point but now you have to understand from me that okay why fast and slow would actually meet okay you guys understood that fast will be from behind and slow will be ahead because it's loop so it's coming from behind but will they meet or not how is this possible so for example our fast was here and slow was here so in the next step slow would be here and fast would be here so they are meeting cool but it is the condition that okay Aryan you put fast just behind the slow what if it is not okay cool it is not it is just one step back which means earlier fast was here but now I'm putting fast as here one step back okay cool and slow is here so slow will move here and fast will move here ultimately it will land to a position where fast and slow are just adjacent which is actually the case above only but Aryan okay it's another example how can it be possible okay cool let's move fast one step more back now fast is here and slow is here slow will move one step back one step forward and fast will move two step forward it will land to position fast and slow which is actually what we saw above okay no worries if you are still not agreed let's move fast one step more back which is here slow is actually here now slow will move here fast will move here it's actually on the location this which is actually the case three which we saw so basically at every step it is reaching to a point which is closer to this particular location and ultimately our fast and slow will overlap which is here so now you guys agree okay if there is a loop we'll move our slow we'll move our fast fast and slow will move at meet at a point called a meeting point and it, it will indicate that we have a loop okay now we know we have a loop and we know that we have a meeting point okay cool but what was our aim our aim was ultimately to need to find the starting point of the loop we know that okay we have a loop and we have a meeting point in that loop in that loop we have a meeting point but what we need to find was a starting point right so basically to find its starting point let's see what all we have and what we can do so we have an entry which is just ahead okay we have the meeting point where the slow and the fast meet so basically slow and fast are both are pointing at this meeting point cool now we need to find the starting point now to find the starting point 
what we have is let's say if we have this entry point which is the head point itself it's the head point itself and we have this meeting point so if by anyhow i can find how many steps l1 let's say it's a l1 step i don't know l1 right now but let's say it's an l1 step and entry point which is pointing to head it needs to just move l1 steps and it can reach to the starting point so now i have head which is entry point i have this entry point i don't know this l1 but by anyhow if i move this l1 steps i can reach the starting point or basically i can also say that okay i have this meeting point and if i move just l3 steps i can move the starting point okay so considering let okay let's think that okay we only need l1 okay cool now we only need l1 to find out okay because if we find by any chance if i got to know about l1 then okay it's l1 is 6 then i can just move my l1 six steps and i'll reach my starting point now my aim is to find L1. Cool. So let's see how we'll find L1. If we need to find L1, so basically we have an entry point. We have the starting point which we need to find. Cool, no worries. We have this meeting point where S and F, both two and pointer are pointing here right now because they have meet each other. We have this L1. From starting to meeting, we named it as L2. From meeting to actually starting, we named it as L3. It's just a, it's just a distance of nodes okay from meeting from starting from this entry point to starting point starting point of the loop it's l1 from starting point to the meeting point it's l2 from meeting point to the actual starting point it's actually l3 now ultimately i need to find this l1 basically but no worries let's see how we are going to do so basically to reach at the meeting point to reach at the meeting point slow will travel l1 plus l2 to reach at the meeting point, slow will travel L1 to L2 like this, right? Fast will travel, how? Fast will travel L1 to L2 and then to L3 to L2 and then again cycle begins here. You understand what happened? L fast moved L1 to L2, L1 plus L2 and then it moved L3 to L2 to reach to the exact point. Now it, it is just like this. Now it can also move on going, 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 and then maybe it meets L2. So basically our fast is moving L1 plus L2, which is here. Then L3 plus L2, which is one loop. And then it can again have any number of loops, which is L2 plus L3 into N. Right. So I just showed, okay, to meet to this location and ultimately I reached to this location called as meeting point. Now to reach at this location called as meeting point, our slow just moved L1 plus L2, but our fast, it can have moved very, very, very fast. And how very fast? L1 plus L2, for sure it, it would have moved. Then L3 plus L2, L1 plus L2, then L3 plus L2, it, it would have moved to reach to this point for sure. At least it would have made this step right now. And maybe if it is very fast, then it would have just gone round, 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 and then met at meeting point so the blue the the, the pink thing would be very compulsory for l for my fast to meet to to the meeting point and the orange one is kind of optional okay how many loops it just goes 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 and then meets my meeting point so i just got to know okay my slow is moving like this and my fast is moving like this but we also know one thing for sure is that if my slow is l1 plus l2 if my slow is something anything my fast is always, my fast is always 2 into what? Slow. Because my fast is moving 2 into, like my slow is moving from slow to next. And my fast is moving fast to next to next. Which means it's just moving 2 times faster than my slow. So one thing I can also say that, my fast is nothing but 2 into slow and slow is nothing but L1 plus L2. So my fast is nothing but 2 into L1 plus 2 into L2. So, okay, we got the fast from here. We got the fast from here, equation 1. So we have this equation 1. We have this equation 2. Let's equate both these equations. Equation 1 and equation 2. Because both are equal. Because both are actually saying, okay, how the fast is moving and it's actually meeting at the meeting point. So basically I equated both this L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L2. So N just represents number of cycles as I showed you here. The orange part, it was just number of cycles it, it is doing. Cool. And it is from the right side, which is equation 2. I equated L1 got cut. L1 is here. Then L2 
one L2 from here and one L2 from here it got cut. So remaining is L3 plus L2 plus L3 into N equals to L1. So now we get a condition that L1 which we need to find ultimately as I show you, showed you guys above. This is was L1 which we need to find here. L1, right? So basically L1 was nothing but L3 plus L2 plus L3 into N. N is just what number of rounds in that from starting from meeting point the number of rounds it took. Cool. But Aryan, what to do by this intuition? Like, okay, what to do by this equation? I don't know anything about this equation. No worries, I'll tell you. L1, I got. Cool. It was L3 plus L2 plus L3. So basically, let's for now assume that number of rounds are zero, which means that L1 will be equal to L3 when number of rounds are zero, which means that number of rounds are zero. So L3 would be something like this and L1 would be something like this. So basically, if entry starts and slow, if entry starts, and slow and fast, basically slow pointer, let's take any one. It starts, so it just is equal distance. L1 is equal to L3. So basically if, if they both start from the same, at the same moment, so both after traveling L1, because L1 and L3 are equal. So both after traveling will actually meet at what? At the starting point. But Aryan, 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 wait. Why you took N as zero? It can be anything, right? Because N is variable. Cool, let's consider example right here why i put n is zero is because they are both traveling equal distance and just moving what n equal to one means that my whole thing it just went in for the loop which means my entry point started it just went ahead while that moment my slow pointer just completed one entire loop and it's pointing right back to the slow while at that moment my entry has moved my let's say this loop has one two three four nodes like five nodes so basically if my slow is starting from here so it needs to go to one two three four nodes so one two three four nodes completed so it will point my entry point will be here my entry point will be here and my meeting point is actually back to my that particular point itself because it just completed one loop now if you easily see that okay they actually will travel equal distance and will again meet at this meeting point so it's just that i need to just move my entry and starting point simultaneously and when they ever because it might have a loop and then again it will come and then again so again anytime it just have a loop 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 and then again it will end exactly meet at this particular meeting point this entry point after entry it just moves l1 distance so after this whole looping loop it will just meet at this starting point itself so basically entry was ahead my slow pointer was the meeting point i just move both of them it might happen that in that moment, my slow would be round and round and round and round, but still it would have met at this meeting point, entry and slow at the meeting point. So it, they just point at the starting point. So it was the whole thing. And you guys thought I just had no assumptions at all in the entire thing. Just see the code itself. It just first the base condition. Okay. The next to next should not be null. So because if it is null, then we can't move to that particular node. Cool. Then I just had a slow, fast and an entry point. Slow and fast will find me the meeting point and entry point will be used at last, right? To actually move entry point and the slow pointer. Here I just had a slow and a fast pointer to actually reach to a point. If slow and fast are equal, so it's a meeting point. Now I will just go on doing, okay, I'll just go on moving my slow and my entry point until they meet. If they meet, okay, cool. It's a meeting, it's a starting point of the loop. And if nothing meets, nothing happens, it's a null. I hope that you guys like the problem and I'll just write down the code below also. So if yes, then do it like button, it motivates me a lot, a lot. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, take care.